Hello, my name is Marted and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna talk to you about my Octoprint installation. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full installation guide, there are plenty of videos on how to install Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi, but I had a problem with the Wi-Fi network. Uh, I found out the, the workaround for it, but the configuration file that you were supposed to edit and input your network name and uh, password uh, that was not working for me so I had to edit uh, uh, the interface files and the password files uh, separately and uh, then I got my Wi-Fi to work uh, so I wanted to show you how I found a solution and, and uh, if you have this problem uh, you can connect your normal Ethernet cable to the Raspberry or uh, connect a display and a keyboard to the Raspberry to edit the configuration files. So I'm gonna show you what I did in the, in the configuration. Initially I had a keyboard and a display connected to the Raspberry to do the configuration fixes but uh, now after I connected the Ethernet cable to the Raspberry I can show you directly on my laptop uh, and record the desktop so you can see what I did so uh, I'm gonna switch over to my des desktop so what you need to connect uh, when you have the, the wired connection is is putty and you can download that free from the internet and I have already set up a connection to my cruiser with a local uh, name so you can connect to that so when you log in normally you use a user pi and I have changed the password but uh, the default password when you connect is, is raspberry and the problem was uh, when I first connected I only saw the the DNS name here and I didn't see any IP addresses from my network so now the ne network is working on the on the wired ne network and this is the wireless network but I only got the name and no IP ad information and to verify that you can do IP config AF config and that lists out the network and here's the Ethernet connection and the IP address it has and the network information. Uh, then the wireless network is this one. Um, it didn't show any I IP address information. It just had the hardware address showing up and this information, but it was like it was not connected. So to get this to work, I, I had to edit uh, some files manually. Normally you will have uh, the configuration in the network uh, text file that is on the boot. In this file you normally have the option to edit the network name and password. And, uh, normally you would uh, add, remove those comments and put your network information here, either if you're having a web uh, or uh, WAPIA so you would normally uh, remove those and, and put your SS, SSID here and your password here but that was not working for me so I reverted back to the default settings but this normally is what you have to do and just uh, uh, power on the Raspberry uh, but what, what I had to do uh, was manually configure the network interfaces. And this is a file that uh, normally configures, contains the uh, network information. And uh, originally there was some more information here and I removed everything that was in, in here and this is just for the loopback interface and this is for the wired network and 
this I have to add for the Wi-Fi. So you have to add this portion, this portion, and this portion is, is in the file originally, but you have to add this information here. So I will have a description in the, add all this information in the description of the video, but uh, this is what I had to do to bring up the interface. And then in this file here, here you will store your SSID and your password. So you have to edit, edit this file. And here you have to comment out uh, the network and uh, the network as is the ID and password. And this uh, contains, you know, this bracket. So default, this is all commented out, these four lines, but you have to remove the comments and put in your SSID and your Wi-Fi password. And when that is done, uh, you can save this and exit out. When you have edited those two files, uh, uh, I rebooted the, the Raspberry and then I got the Wi-Fi connection up and running. I also uh, added a sampas here uh, to the installation so I could uh, copy the time-lapse files uh, from the Raspberry to my PC and also to add a share for the watts folder in the Octoprint. The watts folder is a folder that the Octoprint service is, is watching and if you put a file there uh, a STL file or a decode file, it will pick it up in the interface so you can easily mount the, the shear on your PC and just drag and drop a file to that uh, folder and then you can uh, get the file in the interface right away and you don't have to upload the folder through the web interface. Uh, also the time lapse are kind of stored in the, in the time-lapse folder of the Octobrit user config and that's a nice location to get to the time-lapses if you have a camera connected. So what I did was uh, uh, first I had to install uh, the Samba conf common files and before you do that you have to, uh, to update the, the operating system uh, with the updates and first you do the sudo apt get update and that will get a list of updates available uh, then you do this sudo apt get upgrade and that will download and, and install all available upgrades in my case it was quite a long time it took uh, maybe 15 20 minutes to download and install a number of updates uh, after that you can install the samba common bin files and this is the command you have to do sudo apt get install sampa uh, space sampa slash no sampa uh, dash common dash bin uh, that will install the sampa installation uh, then you have to edit the config for the sampa service and you do that by editing the file uh, like this uh, sampa dot config and in the bottom of this file um, we go right to the bottom you have to add, uh, add the folders you want to share out and in my case I added the watts folder uh, and this is the location of the folder in the operating system so uh, I have this text copied in the video description that you can just copy paste to your config. So you add this and this will be shared as what's. So this is the share name and this is the folder location. Um, then for the time lapse, I did the same. Uh, the folder is home uh, Octoprint time lapse and this is the share name. So you put this in this folder and, and save it. Uh, then you have to uh, give the permissions uh, and you use this command uh, 
here, sudo. And I've already done this, so I don't have to, but you do this and, and then you have to enter the password. And just for simplicity, you can use the same password as the Pi uh, user. So you will log into the Octoprint installation with your username PI and with the same password you access the files here, just to keep things simple, but you can create other users and give out separate permissions if you, if you want to. Uh, then you restart the sub-service with this command or you can reboot the Octoprint installation. Uh, then to connect to the CR from your Windows machine, uh, this is the path on in my case. Um, you just uh, open up the path and here I have the time-lapse uh, folder and in this tab folder is uh, the images that are <coughs> taken uh, by the time-lapse config. Currently I'm printing and this is connecting, uh, collecting uh, a temp file, but when that is done it will show up here as a video file. Uh, then the watts folder is uh, the folder that you can use to uh, copy config files, uh, decode files too. So if I, if I find a decode file and and copy it over um, if I refresh the folder after a few seconds, the f file is gone, and that indicates that the file was picked up by the Octoprint installation. So now in the Octoprint uh, um, the file I just uh, copied to the folder is showing up here uh, and sometimes you have to refresh uh, and now if I go in here you can see this was the file I, I mo moved to the folder and it was uploaded just a few seconds ago and uh, this will uh, be easy for you to uh, just uh, map those files you can map network drive and connect and one thing here is uh, to connect you will have to enter the user and the password for the Pi account so you click this setting here and when you finish you, you get the option to enter the Pi account and then you type in the password you have set and click remember my current results then it will connect as a Pi user to the, to the file share. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I had this uh, network problem with the Wi-Fi, but um, if you get into this problem, you can see in the video description the, the comments and the config I had to do to make this work. I've seen several videos on YouTube to install the Octoprint, uh, uh, and people are not having this issue. Maybe it's a uh, one-off case with my uh, Raspberry, it is a new Raspberry Pi 3 Type B. Uh, maybe that's the problem with the, in my case, but uh, I would try to find uh, some block or something on, on this issue, but uh, it was quite difficult to dig up uh, what to do. And I have uh, some Linux knowledge, so I, I figured out what to do uh, mostly. So. Uh, this will probably help you if you get this problem. Uh, the Octoprint installation uh, itself is fairly basic. Uh, and there's a lot of YouTube videos on, on how to uh, format uh, SD card and, and install the image to the SD card and boot up and do normal configuration or Octoprint. Um, I really don't think I have anything to add to uh, those videos because I'm new to Octoprint and I was just discovering it uh, a few weeks ago and just installed it for the first time yesterday so uh, hopefully this will uh, 
be a good video for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and, and I will see you in the next one.